So I've got my stitch fix today. I'm on, I think, my fourth one. I don't know what happened to them. It's, I have no words. I'll show you what they sent me. So this top, colour block top, which is fine. I'll probably keep it. Just, I don't know, God. If I sound unenthusiastic, it's because I really am. It, you know, this is fine. It's thin. It's, I guess, good to wear scrapping around the house or gardening or whatever. I've got this Cardi. I love a Cardi, but this is like, you know those toilet roll covers? Did you have them in, in America? Crinoline ladies that go over your toilet roll to make your toilet roll look fancy, um, which was all the rage in England back in the day. Um, it has come to me in cardigan form, so. Oh God, look at it, it's just nothing. I love a cardigan, but this this I don't like. It's so depressing, so depressing. This other jumper they sent me, sweater, do you call it a jump? No, sweater you call it here. This thing is um, mud color, shapeless. I'm not even gonna try it on because it's so disgusting. It's really thin. It looks like something my grandma would have crocheted. I don't even know if she could crochet. She lived in Ireland, so I didn't know her that well because I lived in England. She lived in Ireland. God, this is so depressing. It's just ridiculous. I'm wearing the jeans that they sent. They're boyfriend jeans. They're kind of giant. I know it's supposed to be a big cut, but I don't know. Maybe I'll wear them gardening. This is expensive gardening wear. God. But this thing, they have really gone out of their way to find the ugliest item of clothing you could dream up. This thing is, I tried it on. I'm like, no, this has to be a practical joke. It's absolutely hateful. So let me work out how to put it back on. I'm actually lost for words with this, which never happens to me. Okay. So this thing, Look at it, look at this freaking thing. This is a poncho, a short sleeve, I don't have flying nun. Short sleeve poncho. It's got big slits. So I mean, why even bother, you know? It's like someone just took a bit of fabric, cut a hole in it and said, there you go, have a poncho with these attractive things. It's not even a hood, I guess it could be there. This is my poncho from, <laughs> thank you Stitch Fix. I'm feeling beautiful now, I feel very stylish in this. So this is the poncho. Beautiful isn't it, beautiful. I'll go through the prices for my Stitch Fix. So the jeans that I'll probably keep for gardening. Well, I, I don't even know if I will actually. $78, I feel like I'm being ripped off. This burnt orange, it isn't burnt orange, that's like muddy brown. It's like, it's like chicken tikka color, I suppose. Chicken tikka sweater is $78. The open knit, put it over your toilet roll, sweater, drape cardigan, $58. My colour block top that I'll probably keep is $48 and my Vitaro cow neck poncho knit top that I'm styling right here, 78 freaking dollars, 78 that is outrageous, that should be a crime, it's criminal whoever made it, $78. So if you were to buy the whole lot and I, I God knows why you would. So if you were to buy the whole lot, it would be $340. If you buy five, uh, no, you're not gonna buy five because they're disgusting. You get a discount of $85. Styling fee, I beg its belief that anyone actually styled this. I just think they're in some bar somewhere and did it as an afterthought after 18 tequila slammers. $20 styling fee credit. And I've got some random credit for $5. So if you were to buy all of them and have your credit and your fee back, it'd be 230. 
No, I'm, if I keep anything, it will be, you see the flaps are handy, aren't they? Um, it would be this thing. God, and here's the thing with Stitch Fix. I've asked them three times now to change my stylist and they haven't. So unless they can assure me that I'm not gonna be styled like this again, I'm, I'm done with them. This is, this is a bad scene, absolutely awful. If they had tried to make a st Stitch Fix box this bad, I don't know that they could have done. I'm, I'm actually lost for words and that never happens. And now I've got to go through the pain in the arse of taking it back to the post office. And I hate the post office. So thank you Stitch Fix. Thank you.